In this video, we'll learn how to edit applique properties. To edit our applique, we'll open object properties. You can double click on the heart boundary to open object properties. You can create closed objects with either satin or blanket stitch. The software defaults to satin stitch, but all we have to do to edit this is select blanket and click on apply. I'm going to undo that to go back to our satin stitch, and I'm going to change the width of the satin stitch to 2.5. Again, press apply. Remember, apply keeps the dialog box open. We can also change the spacing of the stitches as well for the satin stitch. When we make a significant change in the width, the width of the tack down automatically changes. Let's choose to add a cutting line. Just place a check mark in front of cutting and click on apply. With a trim in place applique, you may want to change the offset. I'll switch to design view so you can see the difference. The offset influences how the cover stitch is placed in relationship to the placement line, just as it did for punch work. Changing the offset to the inside places the cover stitch at the inside edge of the placement line. Since we can't trim that close to the cutting line with a pair of scissors, this is not a good option for cut in place applique. So let's change it to the outside. Outside places the cover to the outside of the placement line, and it is a better option for trim in place because it is hard to trim that close to the placement line. The cutting line is right on top of the placement line. And I can move this lever anywhere in between. If you change your mind and instead want to use a pre-cut piece for your applique, just uncheck cutting and move the offset back to the center and click apply. To apply fabric to the applique, click on choose and choose the type of fabric you want to use for your applique. Select it, click OK, and OK again. Always make sure that you have show applique fabrics highlighted in the view toolbar. You can also edit the applique through reshape. Select the applique and click on reshape. You can move add, change, or delete reshape points around the applique. This symbol also appears when you activate reshape. It is called frame out and will influence how far the hoop will move in order for you to place the applique fabric on your background fabric. If you want the hoop to move a greater distance, place it away from the applique.